Wealth Mastery, The Secret Journey to Wealth, written and published by Wealthy7 Channel. The Introduction Imagine you're lost in a dense forest, the wealth of the world. With only a compass in your hand, this book serves as your guide, your north star. It's not just about understanding money and finance, it's about mastering them, turning them into tools that work for you. You'll start by getting your bearings, understanding your current financial status, and then you'll move step by step, learning to navigate the tricky terrain of wealth creation and financial growth. Wouldn't you want to know what comes next on this intriguing journey? Now, let's get started. Part 1. Unlocking the Wealth Mindset Discovering your wealth mindset is the first critical step toward financial independence and mastery. This isn't merely about how much you earn or how much you save. It's about your attitude towards money and wealth. Your mindset is the key it can either open or hinder your way to financial abundance. In opening your wealth mindset, you need to redefine your belief system about money. You've got to believe that you deserve wealth and that it's possible to acquire it. Understand that money isn't the end goal, it's a tool that can provide you with the life you aspire to live. If you've been conditioned to think that money is the root of all evil, it's high time you change that mindset. Moreover, it's important to value the process of wealth creation. It's not just about making fast money, it's about sustainable wealth growth. This involves setting clear financial goals, creating a solid plan, and taking action consistently. You need to be ready to learn, adapt, and innovate. Embrace the idea that financial success requires time, patience, and resilience. Lastly, cultivate a positive relationship with money. Treat it with respect, not fear or disdain. Use your wealth to contribute positively to your life and others. Remember, wealth isn't just about having a lot of money, it's also about how you use and manage it. Opening your wealth mindset is a continuous process, not a one-time event. But once you've started this journey, you're on the path to financial independence and mastery. In your journey towards financial mastery, pinpointing and addressing financial blind spots that could potentially derail your progress is vital. These are the areas in your financial life where you may lack awareness or understanding, leading to errors in judgment or missed opportunities. Identifying them isn't an easy task, but it's definitely a necessary one. The first step is to analyze your financial habits. Are you spending more than you earn? Do you have a tendency to make impulsive purchases? Are you neglecting to save or invest for the future? These behaviors hint towards your financial blind spots. Next, assess your financial knowledge. If the thought of reading a financial statement, understanding market fluctuations, or figuring out tax laws sends you into a whirlwind of confusion, these are clear blind spots. It's important to equip yourself with adequate financial literacy to navigate your wealth journey successfully. Furthermore, evaluate your relationship with money. Do you view money as a tool for achieving your goals or does it evoke fear or stress? Your emotional connection with money can reveal hidden blind spots. Remember, you can't fix what you don't acknowledge. Once you've identified these blind spots, it's time to address them. This might mean revising your budget, seeking financial education, or adjusting your mindset towards money. Innovation in finance isn't just about new technologies or strategies. It also encompasses innovative thinking in identifying and overcoming your financial blind spots. By doing so, you'll be one step closer to achieving financial mastery. Part 2. Debunking Money Myths While you're busy identifying your financial blind spots, it's important to also debunk some common money myths that might be holding you back from achieving wealth mastery. Let's delve into these misconceptions to clear your path towards financial success. Firstly, the idea that more money equals more happiness is a fallacy. Money can certainly provide comfort and security, but it doesn't guarantee contentment or fulfillment. It's essential to find a balance between material wealth and personal well-being. Secondly, don't buy into the myth that you must be born into wealth to become wealthy. There are countless self-made millionaires and billionaires who've built their fortunes from scratch. By learning financial skills and applying them, you too can achieve wealth. Thirdly, the notion that investing is just for the rich is simply not true. 
In today's innovative financial landscape, investment opportunities exist for all income levels. It's about finding the right investment strategy that suits your budget and risk tolerance. Another myth to debunk is that money is evil. Money is a tool that, when used wisely, can bring about positive changes in your life and the lives of others. It's how you choose to use it that matters. Lastly, never believe that financial freedom means not working again. Financial freedom means having enough wealth to live your desired lifestyle without worrying about money. But it doesn't mean you should stop working or growing your wealth. To build a solid prosperity foundation, it's vital that you develop a deep understanding of your financial status, set clear and attainable financial goals, and establish a well-planned strategy to achieve these goals. You need to fully comprehend your income, expenses, savings and investments, and how they all interconnect. This understanding is the cornerstone of your financial edifice. Once you've grasped your financial status, it's time to set your financial goals. These should be smart-specific, measurable, achievable, relevant, and time-bound. Whether you're saving for a comfortable retirement or putting money down for your child's education, your objectives should be practical and well-defined. Now, let's talk strategy. Without a solid plan, your goals are just dreams. Start by designing a budget and savings plan tailored to your income and expenses. Next, consider diversifying your investment portfolio. Don't put all your eggs in one basket instead, spread them out among stocks, bonds, real estate and other assets. Remember that laying the groundwork for prosperity is an ongoing process. It's a dynamic process that needs to be constantly monitored and adjusted to reflect changes in your financial status and market trends. Regular financial checkups are as essential as yearly medical ones. By doing so, you can ensure your financial health and steadily build your wealth. Part 3. Crafting a Wealth Vision Crafting a wealth vision, much like mapping out an adventurous journey, involves envisioning your financial future and defining what wealth means to you. It's not just about accumulating money. Instead, it's about creating an innovative plan that aligns with your personal and financial goals, which in turn increases your overall quality of life. To start, imagine your ideal financial future. What does it look like? How does it make you feel? Perhaps it involves achieving financial independence, or maybe it's about establishing a legacy that benefits future generations. Identify your goals and write them down. They'll serve as your guiding stars on this journey to wealth mastery. Next, clarify what wealth means to you. For some, it's about having enough money to live comfortably without worrying about bills. For others, it's about the freedom to pursue passions or the ability to contribute to causes they care about. Your definition of wealth will steer your strategies and dictate your financial actions. Once you have your vision and goals, it's time to align them with your financial plan. This means creating a budget that supports your goals, investing wisely and continuously monitoring your progress. Just as you've plotted your course in crafting a wealth vision, it's equally important to comprehend the concept of financial cycles. These cycles are essentially the ebb and flow of economic conditions that can impact your wealth-building journey. Understanding them isn't just insightful, it's pivotal to making informed decisions about your financial future. Financial cycles encompass a range of economic factors including market trends, interest rates and inflation. They're not static, they fluctuate, driven by forces such as government policies, global events, and even technological advancements. There's a rhythm to these cycles, a pattern that if grasped, can provide a strategic edge in your wealth creation efforts. The first step is to educate yourself, stay informed about the global economy, and keep an eye on the trends that can affect your financial decisions. It's not about anticipating every market turn, but about knowing the bigger picture and how it affects your financial health. Next, apply this knowledge to your personal financial situation. How will a rising interest rate affect your mortgage? What impact could an economic downturn have on your investments? These are the kinds of questions that can help you navigate the complexities of financial cycles. Lastly, remain adaptable. As the economic landscape changes, so should your strategies. Flexibility is key to surviving and thriving amidst the ever-changing financial cycles. Part 4 navigating emotional spending. 
While mastering financial cycles is necessary, it's equally important to navigate the tricky territory of emotional spending, a common pitfall that can throw off even the most diligent financial plans. Emotional spending typically arises from the need to fulfill immediate emotional gratification, rather than a logical need. It's often triggered by feelings of stress, sadness or boredom, leading to impulsive and often regrettable purchases. To combat emotional spending, you must first acknowledge its existence. Start by evaluating your spending habits. Which purchases were required and which were emotional in nature? Recognizing these tendencies is the first step in achieving control. Next, it's essential to understand your triggers. What emotions or situations prompt you to spend emotionally? By recognizing these triggers, you may create effective coping mechanisms, such as searching out healthier stress-relieving activities or talking to friends or a therapist for emotional support. Lastly, it's crucial to establish a buffer between impulse and action. When the urge to spend hits, impose a cooling-off period. This could be as short as half an hour or as long as a week, depending on the size of the potential purchase. Use this time to take into account the purchase rationally, evaluating its impact on your financial plan. To effectively manage your finances, it's essential that you develop a strategic approach to spending, which involves careful planning, discipline and commitment. It's not only about decreasing costs, it's about making informed decisions that are in line with your financial objectives. First, identify your income and expenses. This provides a clear understanding of where your money is going and helps you establish a realistic budget. Don't overlook minor expenses, they add up over time. Next, prioritize your spending. Needs come before wants. Food, shelter and medical treatment should be at the top of your priority list. Once these are met, you can commit funds to your desires, but only in moderation. Remember that every dollar spent equals one dollar less saved. Third, establish financial goals. Whether you're saving for a vacation, retirement or an emergency fund, having a specific goal will help you remain on track. Divide these into short, medium and long-term goals and assign a percentage of your salary to each. Lastly, review and adjust your spending plan regularly. Life changes, so should your budget. An unexpected expense or a raise at work are good reasons to revisit your plan. Innovative tools like budgeting apps can aid your spending strategy. They allow you to track your income and spending in real time, offering insights to help you make smarter financial decisions. Part 5. Mastering Cash Flow Management Mastering cash flow management is essential in your journey towards financial freedom as it's the key to understanding how money moves in and out of your personal accounts. Controlling your cash flow isn't just about monitoring your income and expenses, it's about optimizing your financial resources and ensuring you're not just surviving, but thriving financially. Start by keeping track of your income sources and expenses. This doesn't mean merely logging in your monthly salary and bills it necessitates a thorough understanding of your financial activities. It's about knowing when and where your money comes from and goes to. Subsequently, it is imperative to comprehend the distinction between your fixed and variable expenses. Rent and car payments are fixed expenses that are predictable and occur on a monthly basis. Variable expenditures, including entertainment and dining out, tend to fluctuate and can be more directly managed. A more effective and adaptable budget can be established by comprehending the nature of your expenses. Moreover, implement a system to monitor and control your cash flow. Whether it's a sophisticated financial software or a simple spreadsheet, find a system that suits your needs and stick with it. Regularly update and review this system to keep your finances in check. Finally, always be proactive. Don't wait until a financial crisis occurs to start managing your cash flow. Create an emergency fund to cover unexpected needs and continue to look for ways to boost your income while decreasing your expenses. Have you ever considered that investing could be your ticket to financial freedom? It's not just a pipe dream, but a tangible goal that you can reach with the right knowledge and strategy. This isn't about getting rich quick, but about building wealth steadily over time. Understanding investment begins with identifying your financial objectives. Are you saving for your retirement, a child's education, or a down payment on a home? 
once you've determined your objectives, you may adjust your investment plan to achieve them. It is also critical to understand risk tolerance. Can you handle the stock market's ups and downs, or would you rather take a more conservative approach? There are many investment vehicles available. Stocks, bonds, mutual funds, real estate, and more. Each one has its own risks and rewards. Diversifying your portfolio is critical for mitigating risk and increasing return possibilities. Remember that it is more important to be in the market than to time it. Investing demands discipline. You must stay the course, even when the market is tumultuous. Resist the impulse to purchase high and sell cheap. Instead, stick to your strategy and keep your emotions under control. Part 6. Taming High Interest Debt While investing can pave the way to financial freedom, it's equally important to tackle any high interest debt that you may have, as it could hinder your wealth building journey. High interest debt often comes in the form of credit cards, personal loans or payday loans. If left unchecked, it can snowball into a massive financial burden. Start by taking stock of all your high interest debts. Understand the interest rates, terms and conditions tied to each loan. This will give you a clear picture of your financial situation and the steps you need to take. Having a plan is crucial. Consider utilizing the avalanche strategy, which involves paying off the debt with the highest interest rate first, while making minimal payments on the others. Once the highest interest obligation has been paid off, go to the next one, and so on. This strategy can result in large long-term savings. Alternatively, you can use the snowball approach. This is paying off the lowest bills first, regardless of interest rate, which can provide a psychological boost and help you stay focused. Innovation is key here. You might want to leverage fintech tools that can help automate the process, providing reminders for due payments or even negotiating lower interest rates on your behalf. After successfully devising a plan to control your high interest debts, your next step in the wealth mastery journey is to assemble a skilled wealth team. This group of experts will be your partners as you navigate the intricate financial terrain. They'll offer expert guidance, creative solutions, and the support you need to make well-informed decisions about your investments, savings, and overall financial well-being. Begin by identifying the key players you'll need on your team. This typically includes a financial advisor, an accountant, a lawyer, and perhaps a real estate specialist. Each brings a distinct set of expertise and knowledge that can contribute to your financial prosperity. Your financial advisor is your main mentor, assisting you in setting and attaining your financial objectives. You'll require an accountant to handle your taxes effectively and make sure that you're maximizing your investments. A lawyer will protect your assets, aiding in estate planning and potential legal matters. And if real estate is a component of your wealth strategy, a real estate specialist can offer invaluable guidance. Part 7 creating multiple income streams. Diversifying your income portfolio is the next key milestone on your wealth mastery journey, offering you a protective shield against financial instability and paving the way for an enhanced financial freedom. It is risky to depend only on one source of income. Instead, think about creating a few different sources of income that will continue to flow even if your main source of revenue declines. So where do you start? It begins with a thorough exploration into your skills, passions, and the market demand. Can you monetize a hobby or a specific skill set? Maybe you're an artist, a coder, or a writer. Freelancing or selling your creations online can generate a secondary income stream. Investing is another effective technique to get additional income. Real estate, equities, bonds, and mutual funds can all yield consistent returns. If you are inexperienced with these topics, you should seek professional guidance or take educational courses to improve your knowledge. Remember, the goal isn't to overwork yourself but to create passive income streams that grow your wealth over time. For instance, rental properties or dividend-yielding stocks can generate money with minimal ongoing effort. Moreover, you might explore innovative digital opportunities like blogging, affiliate marketing, or creating an online course. These ventures can take time to establish but have the potential to yield substantial passive income in the long run. Creating multiple income streams isn't an overnight project. 
It requires patience, strategic planning and consistent effort. But with the right approach and mindset, you'll see your wealth grow, providing financial security and freedom. Having established multiple income streams, the next step in your wealth mastery journey is to safeguard your financial future. Protecting your hard-earned assets from potential risks and uncertainties is vital. Firstly, think about insurance. It's not just a safety net, but a strategic tool for wealth protection. Tailored solutions such as life health, property and liability insurance can shield your assets from unexpected events. Work with a trusted insurance advisor to understand the nuances and make sure you're adequately covered. Second, you should diversify your investing portfolio. Do not put all your eggs in one basket. Spreading your investments across many asset classes decreases the possibility of suffering big losses if one asset class performs poorly. Your risk tolerance and financial goals will decide the best mix of stocks, bonds, commodities and real estate. In addition, consider setting up an emergency fund equal to three to six months of your living expenditures. This acts as a cushion against unforeseen expenses or income loss, providing you with peace of mind and financial security. Lastly, it's vital to have an estate plan in place. This includes creating a will, setting up trusts, assigning powers of attorney, and specifying healthcare directives. It's not only for the wealthy, it's a responsible measure to protect your family's financial future. Part 8. Maximizing tax efficiency. In your journey towards wealth mastery, understanding and maximizing tax efficiency becomes an essential step. It's not just about earning more, it's about keeping more of what you earn. By ensuring that your finances are structured in a tax-efficient manner, you can substantially reduce the amount of tax you pay. Firstly, familiarize yourself with your country's tax laws. You'll find many ways where you can legally reduce your taxable income. For instance, retirement savings plans, health savings accounts, and educational savings accounts offer tax benefits. Exploit these as much as you can. Secondly, consider hiring a tax advisor. They're experts in their field and can provide you with personalized advice. They'll help you understand complex tax issues and identify tax-saving opportunities you might have missed. Finally, be proactive with your tax planning. Do not wait until the end of the fiscal year to consider your taxes. Review your financial status on a regular basis and make any necessary modifications. This allows you to take advantage of tax-saving options throughout the year rather than waiting until the last minute. While mastering tax efficiency helps you keep more of what you earn, investing in real estate can be an effective strategy to further grow your wealth. Real estate, viewed as an alternative investment, has a long history of being a reliable wealth creator. It's a tangible asset that appreciates over time, and it's less volatile than stocks. To begin, let us examine some fundamental ideas. First and foremost, you are not simply purchasing a piece of property, you are investing in a prospective source of income. Rental properties, for example, may provide a constant income while the property itself improves in value. Second, don't overlook the power of leveraging. By using borrowed money to finance your property investment, you can control a larger asset and reap the benefits of increased capital gains. Now, consider real estate investment trusts REITs. These are companies that own, operate, or finance income generating real estate. By investing in a REIT, you can reap the rewards of real estate investment without the demands of direct property ownership. Moreover, innovative technologies have made real estate investing more accessible and user-friendly. Online real estate platforms, for instance, allow you to invest in a portion of a property, providing a gateway to real estate investing with a smaller upfront capital. Part 9 harnessing the power of compounding. To truly master wealth, you'll need to harness the power of compounding. Often called the eighth wonder of the world, this financial principle is your secret weapon to building a substantial wealth portfolio. It's not rocket science, but it does require patience, discipline, and a long-term mindset. Think of compounding as a snowball effect. You start with a small amount of money that earns interest. That interest then gets added to your initial investment, forming a larger base. This larger base then earns more interest, and the cycle continues. Over time, your wealth can grow exponentially. Here's how you can take advantage of compounding. 
First, start investing early. The power of compounding lies in time. The longer your money is invested, the more time it has to grow. Second, reinvest your earnings. Don't withdraw your profits, but instead, keep them in your account to generate even more earnings. Finally, stay consistent. Regularly contribute to your investments, even if it's a small amount. Thus, compounding is more about time and consistency rather than the amount invested. You might be surprised how much a small, regular investment can grow over decades. Albert Einstein wasn't kidding when he said, compound interest is the most powerful force in the universe. Once you've harnessed the power of compounding and built a substantial wealth portfolio, it's time to explore how you can create a lasting wealth legacy. This process isn't just about accumulating wealth, but more importantly, it's about creating a plan that guarantees your wealth continues to grow and benefit your loved ones long after you're gone. To create a powerful wealth legacy, it's vital to understand the role of estate planning. This isn't just for the wealthy. It's a strategic tool that guarantees your assets are distributed according to your wishes. An effective estate plan includes a will, powers of attorney, trusts, and potentially a family limited partnership. Consider diversifying your wealth across generations. This innovative strategy involves setting up trusts or other financial mechanisms to provide for your children, grandchildren, and even great-grandchildren. The advantage? It allows your wealth to continue compounding and benefiting your family for generations. Another innovative approach to creating a wealth legacy is through philanthropy. By setting up a charitable foundation or trust, you can guarantee your wealth continues to make a positive impact in the world. You're not just creating a financial legacy, but a legacy of values that can inspire future generations. Lastly, remember that communication is key. You must make your intentions clear to your family members to avoid misunderstandings and conflicts. This could involve regular family meetings or working with a family business advisor. Leaving a financial legacy is a continual process. With careful planning and a dedication to innovation, you may ensure that your money continues to benefit others long after you are gone. Part 10. Avoiding financial traps. Traveling the journey to wealth mastery, you must remain vigilant to avoid the common financial traps that can derail your progress. There's a multitude of pitfalls you can unwittingly fall into, and here's how you can steer clear of them. Firstly, don't let credit card debt snowball. It's easy to swipe away for purchases, but the interest rates can quickly turn a small amount into a significant debt. Pay off your balances in full each month and use credit cards wisely. Next, always keep an emergency fund. Life's unpredictable, and unexpected expenses can occur any time. Without a safety net, you may be forced to borrow money at high interest rates. Set aside at least three to six months' worth of living expenses. Another trap is investing without proper research. Don't put your money into something you don't fully understand. Take time to study and seek advice from financial professionals before making investment decisions. Avoid the lure of get-rich-quick schemes. They may promise huge returns with minimal risk, but in reality they're often scams. Wealth creation takes time and patience. Inflation, a relentless force that erodes the value of money over time, is a challenge you'll need to address directly as you progress towards mastering wealth. Understanding inflation is vital because its impact on your financial health can be both subtle and profound. First, familiarize yourself with the concept of inflation. It's the rate at which the price of goods and services increases over time, and consequently the purchasing power of your money decreases. This is why your dollar today won't go as far as it did 10 years ago. Your money needs to expand at a rate that is at least higher than inflation if you want to stay ahead of it. Investing in things that yield returns greater than the rate of inflation is one approach to do this. Real estate, mutual funds, and stocks are a few of these investments. Recall that these have unique risks, therefore careful consideration and diversification are required. Investing in inflation-protected securities, such as Treasury inflation-protected securities tips in the US, is another creative strategy. These are inflation-adjustable government bonds, so your investment will grow in line with rising prices. It's crucial to consider inflation in your retirement planning as you progress toward wealth mastery. 
ensure that the rate of growth of your retirement funds above that of inflation. In this manner, your purchasing power will be preserved and you'll be able to live comfortably in the future. Staying ahead of inflation is all about strategic planning, smart investments, and continuous learning. Remember, every dollar you shield from inflation is a dollar that continues to work for you on your journey to wealth mastery. Part 11. Building an Emergency Fund Establishing an emergency fund is a vital step in your wealth mastery journey, ensuring you can weather life's unforeseen financial storms. When faced with unforeseen bills, this fund acts as a safety net for finances, offering comfort and stability. The first step in creating this fund is to determine the amount you need. A rule of thumb is to have enough to cover three to six months' worth of living expenses. This includes rent or mortgage, utilities, groceries, transportation, and any other recurring costs. But remember, everyone's financial situation is unique, so adjust this guideline to fit your personal circumstances. Next, you'll need to start saving. This might seem overwhelming, especially if you're starting from scratch. But don't worry, you don't need to amass this fund overnight. Start modest and, as you can, progressively raise your savings. Think about creating automatic transfers from your checking account to another savings account just for your emergency fund. This guarantees consistency and could simplify the procedure. Finally, be disciplined. It's tempting to use your emergency fund for non-emergency situations, but resist the desire. Remember, this fund is reserved for unexpected and necessary expenses, such as auto repairs or medical bills. Using it for other purposes destroys its purpose and leaves you susceptible when a true emergency occurs. Building an emergency fund mightn't be the most thrilling part of your wealth mastery journey, but it's certainly one of the most vital. With this fund in place, you'll be better prepared to weather life's financial ups and downs and stay on track for financial success. Moving beyond financial reserves, investing in personal growth is another pivotal aspect of your journey to wealth mastery. It's about diversifying your portfolio beyond the monetary domain and into the realm of knowledge, skills and life experiences. This investment may not yield immediate tangible returns, but its dividends are long-lasting and far-reaching. Consider this your wealth isn't merely the sum of your bank account, stocks or real estate. It's a manifestation of who you're as an individual, your knowledge, abilities and experiences. The more you grow as a person, the more valuable resources you'll have to leverage in your wealth-building journey. So, how do you invest in personal growth? It can take many forms. You may opt for formal education, such as advanced degrees or professional certifications, but don't limit yourself to traditional avenues. Seek out innovative learning opportunities like online courses, workshops, or mentorships. It's about consistently challenging yourself and expanding your horizons. Simultaneously, focus on developing essential soft skills. These include communication, leadership, emotional intelligence, and problem-solving skills. Despite their name, soft skills are hard-hitting when it comes to increasing your value in the marketplace. Part 12. Developing a long-term perspective. Cultivating a long-term perspective is an important step on your journey to wealth mastery, since it requires you to look beyond immediate benefits and focus on sustainable growth. It's about shifting from a mindset of instant gratification to one that values long-term benefits. In this process, it's important to manage your expectations realistically. You won't become a millionaire overnight, but consistent efforts will eventually pay off. Developing this long-term perspective involves setting clear goals for your financial future. Where do you see yourself in 5, 10 or 20 years? What kind of lifestyle do you aspire to live? These questions will guide your financial planning and decisions. It's not just about accumulating wealth, but also creating a secure and comfortable future for yourself and your loved ones. A long-term perspective also means being resilient in the face of market fluctuations. The financial world is unpredictable and filled with uncertainties. There will be times when your investments don't yield immediate returns or even face losses. Instead of panicking, stay focused on your long-term goals. Remember that time in the market is more important than timing it. Finally, consistent learning and adaptation are essential. Stay up to date on the most recent financial trends and developments that may help you accumulate wealth. 
embrace new technologies that can simplify and enhance your financial management. Never stop seeking knowledge, as it's your greatest tool in achieving wealth mastery. While keeping a long-term perspective helps you navigate through the rough waters of the financial world, confronting and conquering any financial fears that may hinder your journey towards wealth mastery is crucial. Fear of the unknown, failing, and taking risks are all prevalent financial worries that can be crippling. Remember, fear isn't the adversary, it's the inaction that fear frequently induces that is the problem. And to overcome financial fear, first, acknowledge its presence. You can't conquer what you won't confront. Once you've identified your financial fears, take steps to educate yourself about them. Knowledge dispels fear. If you fear investing, for instance, start learning about different investment strategies, market trends and risk management techniques. Moreover, develop a solid financial plan. This provides a roadmap towards your wealth mastery, decreasing ambiguity and uncertainty, which are often the main triggers of fear. Finally, consider getting professional help. Financial advisors may provide experienced advice and reassurance, which is crucial when dealing with difficult financial issues. Always remember, overcoming financial fear isn't about eliminating every single financial risk, it's about understanding those risks, managing them effectively, and making informed financial decisions. Overcoming fear is a critical step in your journey to wealth mastery, don't let it hold you back. Embrace it, understand it, and use it as a catalyst to propel you forward. This innovative approach is your key to mastering wealth and achieving financial success. Part 13. Achieving True Financial Freedom To achieve genuine financial independence, you need to move beyond the basic concept of having enough money to cover your expenses. This means shifting your mindset from simply attaining wealth to mastering it. You should strive to generate various streams of income, diversify your investments, and remain laser-focused on debt reduction. It's not just about producing money, it's about putting your money to work for you. Investing in innovation is vital. The world is constantly changing, and you need to keep up with it. Invest in groundbreaking businesses, cutting-edge technologies and emerging markets. They might seem risky, but remember, high risk can lead to high reward. Reducing debt is another crucial step. Remember, every dollar you owe is a dollar that isn't working for you, so work on paying down your debts as quickly as possible. This will free up more of your income to invest, further increasing your wealth. Finally, consider getting professional financial guidance. Professionals can provide insights and strategies that you may not have considered. They can also provide objective perspectives, allowing you to make informed decisions, Financial freedom isn't just about living a comfortable life, it's about living a life without financial stress. It's about having the ability to do what you want when you want, without worrying about money. By following these steps, you can stop worrying about money and start enjoying the freedom that true wealth brings. Therefore, you've journeyed through the secret domains of wealth mastery, debunking myths and confronting financial fears. Now you're equipped with the tools to craft a prosperous future, turning financial blind spots into signposts for success. Remember, the path to true financial freedom isn't a straight line, it's a winding road of continual growth and adaptation. So keep learning, stay strategic, and let each monetary decision carve out your own legacy of abundance. Thanks for listening.